It's Doodle Bud. I got six black pens. All of them have black ink. Gonna talk to you about my six favorite black inks. Plus, I'll include two that I don't like. But just let me just show you. This is what it takes to set up the thumbnail. I just got paper everywhere and precariously balancing things, trying to get the pens. If you just touch it the wrong way, they just do that. So this this took forever. I hope you like the thumbnail, but let's get straight into the inks. So it will be fun to talk about different inks and also show off some different pens. First one is this Peter Draws Narwhal that I got from uh, Gold Spot Pens. It is inked with none other than Noodler's Black. So the format's going to be a writing sample, and I'm going to use three different papers. We got the Rhodia you know, in the back here, that's our main deal. I got my cheap little Muji paper because I use this a lot for tearaway kind of notebook stuff. And then I got to include this regalia paper because this stuff does magic to ink. So let's just get it started. So I will say right out of the gate that ink reviews is not my deal. It's not my thing that I'm super interested in. There are YouTube channels that do an infinitely better job than I will ever do and also websites as well. So one actually website, the resource I check out all the time is Mountain of Ink. That's kind of my personal go-to. They are exceptionally thorough and I just have so many inks and they do all the papers, dry time, smear tests, different things like that, water. So go there if you wanna get more information. I will list all the inks in the order down in the description along with the pens for your reference as well. But I'd love to hear from you uh, you know, your favorite black inks. And also too, if your work, I know I've, I read forums sometimes on Reddit or different areas, and some people are forced to use only black ink at work. That, that to me is kind of depressing and sad. So maybe <laughs> I will show you an ink or two that uh, will spark an interest and maybe you can get away with it. If Let me know on the bottom, if you have to use like a specific color only and your work will not let you use anything else, I'd love to hear which ink that is or the rationale behind it, because that, yeah, that just sort of blows my mind a little bit. But uh, yeah, these inks are fun. I, I like writing, you know, when I'm not doing my technical reviews. Maybe you think this is how I do all my stuff all the time. I really do enjoy writing with my pens. And sometimes I'll just sit down for a half hour or an hour or more and just ink up a pen, play around with it, practice my writing, practice a sentence, get my uh, different letters nailed down so I know how I like them. If I don't like them, I'll change it. I'll change up different letters or how I connect them as well. But uh, yeah, playing with inks, playing with pens is ton of fun. And uh, I'm gonna go through, as I finish here, this is my personal favorite ink, the Robert Oster Thunderstorm. I'll go through all the papers, give you some close-ups, talk about them, how they perform. So I'll just finish up my writing sample here and we'll give you some more details. Here's a bit of a close up of the writing samples. This is on the Rhodia, so you can just sort of get a bit of an idea. Um, yeah, the Noodler's Black, just a good solid black. Nothing too crazy going on, but it performs fairly well. The Cold Noir, it's just, you can see, you got a little bit more of a shading here. You'll see it on the Regalia. It always just highlights everything else it does. And you can see in the smear test there, just a little bit different color with that Cold Noir. I really like the uh, Graf von Faber-Castell Carbon Black. It's, uh, you know, it's not permanent, but they say indelible. And also on a mega wet pen like this, you'll see on the Muji paper, it uh, it does pretty darn good. Now this is really neat. This is that smoke noir. It, it kind of looks almost like a pencil on the regalia paper. Again, it really stands out. It is a little bit drier. So when you need something that's gonna work well on not so great paper and wanna stick to a black, but again, it, it looks like a pencil, I would say. That's the closest thing I could come to it. It uh, it does really, really well. So this is my go-to on crap paper. And then we got the Monteverde Azure Noir. Um, yeah, it's just got this sort of gray type of highlights to it. You get some nice shading going on. It's black, but uh, you know, got some kind of gray going on. And then my personal favorite is that Robert Oster Thunderstorm. It's a black and I'm shaking. Here we go but it's like a really, really deep, dark, kind of vicious looking clouds. I think the name is quite appropriate. You get some nice shading as well. So nothing crazy, again, with the noodlers, but it does perform quite well. This is, uh, you know, fairly cheap paper. That's a wet pen I was using. I don't see really any feathering. So you get what you get. It's pretty reliable everyday black. And then we've got the Monteverde Cool Noir. You do start to get a little bit of feathering. That was a pretty wet pen as well, but you can see the carbon black on that 1.1 stub. That is wet. We are holding up pretty darn good. Now we got that smoke noir, same thing, cheap paper, dries quick, and uh, yeah, just you know performs really well. You still getting that shading with that azure noir. 
it just borderline starts to feather. You know, this paper too, sometimes if you get the fingerprints on it, it, it kind of shows up as smudges. But you can see you get some nice shading. I like that color. And then we got that thunderstorm there as well. So dark enough, but you know, it's just not a straight black like that Noodler's black. Now here is the regalia paper. This stuff is fun. Uh, it really, you know, shows off ink, but you can see with the noodlers, this was weird though. The smear test, it went crazy. This stuff does take a little bit longer to dry, but that really went smeary. But you can see even on this regalia, it's pretty much just straight black. You get a little bit of action going on, but uh, yeah, if you just want a regular black, that the noodlers black is quite affordable and easy to get. Now the cold noir really starts to show quite a bit of a difference. You can see with the smear test, we're seeing a lot more of that gray going on. The carbon uh, black as well. It's just like a, a real kind of flat black. There's not a whole bunch. So if you like that sort of look, just a different type of shade. But again, this performs well on cheaper paper as well. And you can see uh, it comes out quite nice and wet. The Monteverdi smoke, sno uh, smoke Noir, I should say, totally different color on here. It's really, really neat. Like, look at that smoke. If I can get you in there nice and close without shaking too much. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, just a very, very, very unique ink. I really like this stuff. I actually have two bottles of it. Works extremely well. And now you really start to see that shading on that Azure Noir. It's a totally different ink now. It really looks cool. You can see those gray tones. And there's that thunderstorm. It's it's quite a bit brighter on this. Almost of a really, really dark, dark, dark blue in there too. But that thunderstorm on the regalia looks absolutely amazing. So that was six black inks and six pens and three different papers. That's a lot of writing. So I like all of these ones. That's my favorite. But there's two inks I have that are black that are not my favorites. Actually, I really don't like them whatsoever. So as a bit of a hint, the first pen I'm going to pull out is the one here in the back. This is a Schaefer PFM version 5 because inside I have Schaefer black ink. I'll do the writing sample and comment as I go along and tell you why I'm not a fan. And then the other pen, there's no uh, no little secret hint here. This is kind of as big of a pen I can fit in this case. Here we go. So this is my uh, poor man Dolce Vita. This is by Marta Modena. Um, in here, I have this sort of regret ink. This is the Graphite by Robert Oster. I typically love their ink, but this one, not so much. Again, I'll write with it and I'll show you. Cool thing with this pen, it's, it's really easy to swap out the nibs. And in here, I have my Bobby Fine Architect nibs. So that makes it kind of fun. If you haven't seen it before, well, here's the snorkel filler on my Schaefer PFM. You can watch me do a restoration on this. I figured we might as well use the Schaefer pen since we got some Schaefer ink because after all, on the side of the bottle, that's kind of what they got going on. But how the ink performs, yeah, it's really strange. I thought it would be better behaved. Maybe I have a bad batch, but even on Rhodia with a fine nib, it's just all those little jagged edges, almost like feathering. But then if you go to throw it on a cheaper paper like this Muji, it's really bad. Like, just look at that. Like, it's not going to be usable. Regalia, it seems to hold it. I get a nicer line. That's sort of the property of that paper. But again, it doesn't really work anywhere else. So just kind of not worth it. And the color is pretty boring. The Robert Oster Graphite, I had high hopes. For me, it's really just down to a color thing. I don't really care for the overall shading. Almost a bit of a green tone to it, which is kind of weird. On cheaper paper, yeah, it's not too bad. Nothing too crazy. It, it seems to perform well. You could use it on cheaper paper. It does have a bit of feathering. On the regalia, you get more shading, but it's kind of more of, I don't know, bad shading. I just, <laughs> I, I just don't care for this color at all. I prefer my blue inks over my black inks, but these are the black inks I go to when I feel like using one. And I know that some of the viewers out there, you like to use your fountain pens at work, but they mandate at your work you use black ink. So maybe these are some options. They're black, but a little bit of wiggle room with shading and color and stuff like that. Or maybe you do have to use like a, just a straight, you know, standard black or a true, true black. Tell me in the comments below, from what I gather, the truest black of as close of a consensus we can get in the fountain pen community seems to be Aurora Black. I don't own it, but I've seen pictures and it seems people say that's the truest black. Let me know what uh, you think the truest black is and maybe what your favorites are as well. You got to see what my favorites were. Thunderstorm, I love that one. And these are all pretty good and there's some cool features too. So anyways, going to leave it there. I've chatted long enough. I got more reviews coming, some cool tests and ideas, maybe even a little controversy in a video here or there. But until then, we'll catch you next time.